Hello Libra, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. This message will be for September 1st through the 7th, and we'll have about a weekly intention. If you find the message resonates, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome here. I offer monthly, weekly, and weekend guidance messages. Also offer love readings, just kind of enjoy doing tarot. So I really try to create messages to help with your self-discovery journey. That makes sense. Um, the energy that I was picking up on in your pre-shuffle Libra was you're kind of in this very airy, kind of very dreamy energy, um, kind of like you're daydreaming, right? You're just like, oh, uh, a sense that you're under some kind of spell. Um, try and be more aware. Try and be more practical about things right now. Try and clear this fog, clear this dream state. Um, there could be something you're not seeing right now. Okay, so trying to be more practical, trying to look at things from a broader viewpoint instead of being so narrow is going to help kind of clear your thoughts, okay? There's something that you're definitely not seeing here, and I get the sense that after you're able to gain some clarity, take review of these past few months, there may be something that's going to be revealed to you, okay? Okay. So, flexible and never-ending story were the two cards that came out while we were talking. <clears throat> but I did get the sense um, for sure, Libra, in the pre-shuffle that you need to kind of get clear, take a review of the past situations and what's gone on for you and this person who you're kind of having daydreaming tendencies about, okay? We have flexible and never-ending story coming out. Flexible symbolizes teachability, open-mindedness, um, being adaptable without compromising your inner values. Okay, and the never ending story is like a wounded ego, self criticism, um, unnecessary drama. I feel like there's this sense, Libra, that you're trying to be super flexible, and no matter how or what you try to do, this person always escapes you. And it's kind of gotten you in this despair. It's like, uh, why me? Understand that everything happens in divine timing and you really shouldn't force situations. If you force something, that's really not true love. It's more like forced love. You kind of just have to go with the flow and whatever happens, happens. And if, if this person dates or if you date, understand that you have your heart set on something and you may be trying too hard to get that something. So just try to relax a little bit. Try to be more flexible with the outcome and try to be more practical when looking at this situation. So let's see what the tarot has to say about this. Fool in reverse. New beginnings eluding you. Getting the sense here, Libra, that there's the sense of blind optimism. Like, like I was saying, um, with the Fool card, it's like a dreamy behavior, a dreamlike state, not being able to see the 
bigger picture. And the downside of this is going to be um, there may be a rude awakening, right? So as I was saying in the pre-shuffle, it's time to, it's time to kind of just be more practical in your approach. Try to see things from, put yourself in other, the other person's shoes, right? I feel like there's a sense of defensiveness, a sense of having someone has their guard up and this guard isn't going to be easy to break down i feel like this person lacks confidence they are very insecure with themselves this could be this could be you libra but this also could be the other person I do get the sense that there is this confusion that's taking place within the situation. And it's kind of hindering the movement forward for you. I know the hanged man ain't coming out but I do get the sense that there's a cha change in perspective that's needed within, within your current situation for this week, Libra. I feel like you may need to reevaluate, take a review, and just kind of sit with yourself, sit with your thoughts, make sure that everything that you're doing is for the right reason and not for there we have it the hanged man just and not for selfish reasons the hanged man just came out i knew it focus on yourself focus on your money focus on your business focus on this change in perspective you may even be waiting for this person to come around but understand that there's more that's playing there's more that's going on behind the scenes than what you're really able to see this person is they're thinking they're not your guys's thinking aren't isn't aligning you're thinking about the situation very differently than this other person is. So, let's get the psychic tarot out. I'm doing things a little bit different with these weeklies. I need to get a new fairy tarot deck. It's kind of worn out, bent, and weathered. But we can use this deck. This psychic tarot deck is really my go-to deck when I'm doing my my personal readings for myself. Instead of getting the backstory with this original tarot deck because I know myself, I really just need the guidance. intuition I feel like you're ignoring what your inner guidance is really telling you I feel like you're really kind of suff suffering in silence just kind of not not really speaking what it is that you want to say and I feel like you need to get this off your chest okay I feel like it may bring clarity to the situation. It's truth. Speaking your truth is going to help bring this person forward to speak their truth. 
to hopefully reveal the truth about the situation to you, right? Have patience with the process. Take some time, plan out your future, get clear on your intentions, all the good stuff, because there's going to be positive movement forward. There's going to be growth within the situation. I'm not saying that this is gonna turn out exactly how you expect it to turn out, but I do feel like there is going to be some communication that takes place and positive movement forward for the highest good of everyone involved. But for you, Libra, you need to take some quiet time and get clear on what it is that you truly want. What do you envision the outcome being? But take it one step further and ask yourself why. Why do you want that? Why do you want that so bad? And it can't be just because you feel. That's not. There has to be some practical reason. You have to be practical about the situation. Don't, don't only go off of feelings. Sometimes feelings aren't going to always cut it. And I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just trying to be real. So, take some quiet time, go outside, rest, meditate, contemplate, get grounded, um, focus on Libra, focus on yourself, focus on this plan, and getting crystal clear on what it is that you want out of this situation and why. Take some time and plan it out. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing, okay? Taking this time and getting clear on what it is that you really want out of this situation, Libra, is going to clear the air. It's going to give some time to kind of gain clarity Meditate, contemplate on what it is that you truly want. There's big changes on the horizon. So taking some time to plan out your future with or without this person is going to be pertinent as well. So I know this reading was all about this discovering secrets within this connection. But let's focus on Libra for a little bit. Let's focus on what Libra wants out of life with or without this person and why. Don't focus on a person, place, or thing. Focus on the characteristics, the attributes, okay? So Libra, that is the message that I have for you. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.